Delicious. <laughs> and that was worth driving 300 miles for. <laughs> ah, my friends. Dessert. Oh, here, let me move mm, this. Oh, that's good. Uh, and I need the science. Hmm? Thank there you. you are. <laughs> Dear ALD parents. <laughs> in the south mm -hmm. yes we'd be happy to pay for copying and postage but you're advocating a therapy here oh no we're merely reporting an advancement a positive advancement in the diet it would be wrong for us to keep this information from the other parents mrs odomi we have an advisory board of uh, eminent doctors and we parents take our guidance from them i mean after all they are the ones with the medical degrees yes my dear but you see Nikolaias already knows about this, and the wretched man does absolutely nothing. Because Dr. Nikolaias is a responsible right. No, because scientist. Dr. Nikolaias has another agenda. You know, Loretta, <clears throat> sometimes the interest of the scientist is, is not the same as the interest of the parents. Scientists are human, and sometimes they can be wrong. And, and as president of the foundation, you represent us, the families. And uh, you serve the families best by informing them. And all we ask is, is that you, you please send this letter to them. That's all. Our, our parents suffer enough without being made the victims of false hopes. But I mean, no, we, we can't give credence to every you know, jerk who comes along with a pocket full of apricots. Excuse me, this is not laetrile. We're talking I about an extract of olive like oil, right. an idea that was put forth by the scientists themselves at the symposium. And it works. It works in Lorenzo. It works in an ALD boy to a degree that is significant. Very significant. Now, for God's sake, don't you think that the other parents have a right to know this? I mean, we know this is a deadly disease, so they have a right to choice and if they feel as we do they can put pressure on the doctors because as parents we should challenge these guys we push them unless somebody in someone is willing to question to provoke how, how would there be progress well, well, we you, feel there is progress well Loretta we know that but all we say is start a dialectic with the doctors so are you going to tell us how to run the foundation no, we are no. merely asking you to disseminate no, information well, are, you, are you even going to teach the doctors back where Loretta and me come from we call that arrogance arrogance yes it, it is arrogance it, it comes from the Latin word Argari, you know what it, you know the root of what it means? It means to claim for oneself. That's the root. It means to claim for oneself. And I claim the right to fight for my kid's life. And no doctor, no researcher, no bloody foundation has the right to stop me from asking questions which might help me save him. And you 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 have no right to, to stop the sharing of information. So you spend the money. Our job stop. is to be there for the parents, to comfort them, not to get them all stirred up. Now, if the doctors think that you are onto something, they will let us know in their own good time. Oh, their that is all. Time. That, that is all. Time. What? They are so powerful. They are so powerful that you will be silent. What the, they are not gods. You know, this, this acquiescence is so disgusting. You think you know so much. Let me tell you something. When Michael. Our first boy got sick. We thrashed about looking for anything that might help him. You know the best thing that happened? He was taken quickly. Now, Tommy, he has lasted three years. For two of them, he's been without his sight, his mind, everything that makes him a human being. He's a vegetable. Oh, boy, and you know, if you would stop all this denial, you wouldn't do a thing to prolong your boy's suffering and indignity one minute longer. Has it occurred to you that maybe he doesn't want to be around anymore? 